Okay, we want to do some more examples of Taylor polynomial applications. So the first problem here is to look at the Taylor polynomial for cosine of x, and we're cutting it off at degree 4, t4 of x, and we want to figure out if we want that to be accurate to two decimal places, what values of x can you plug in there? So let's start out by recalling the Taylor polynomial for cosine x. That's one that we have memorized. That's 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x fourth over 4 factorial minus x sixth over 6 factorial and so on. And we've been told to use the Taylor polynomial t4 of x. So that means you take the Taylor series and you cut it off at the degree 4 term. That doesn't mean you take four terms, it means you look around for degree 4, there it is, and you cut it off right there. So t4 of x is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x fourth over 4 factorial. And what we notice here is that no matter what x you plug into this series, it's going to be an alternating series because even if x is positive or negative, you have even powers of x will always be positive. So you have a minus, plus, minus, plus. And so this series obeys the alternating series test. So we can use the alternating series error estimation And that says that the error is less than the cutoff term, the first term that you didn't take. And so in this case, the cutoff term is x to the sixth over 6 factorial. Remember in the alternating series error bound, that was a n plus 1. But an easier way to think of that is just as the cutoff term. So that's x to the 6th over 6 factorial. Now we've been told that we have to make this thing accurate to two decimal places. So let's interpret that as meaning we want x to the 6th over 6 factorial. We want our, our maximum error to be less than 0 0.01 because we don't want an error bigger than 0 0.01. We want to be accurate at the second decimal place. So we can solve this out. x to the sixth. Um, 6 factorial is 720. So 0, 01 times 720. We got that from doing 6 factorial. And so we get x to the 6th in absolute value less than 7.2. And if we solve that for x, we get x less than 7.2 to the 1 6th power. And that's just a value you could throw in your calculator. That turns out to be 1.3896. So the conclusion there is that the Taylor polynomial t4 of x is an accurate estimate of cosine x to two decimal places. In other words, the error will be at most 0 0.01 as long as you stick to values of x that are inside this range. For values of x whose absolute value is less than 1.3896, we can plug those values of x into the Taylor polynomial, the fourth degree Taylor polynomial, and what we'll get is answers that are close to cosine x 
um, to an error tolerance of 0 0.01. So just to recap there, we're asked to, we're, we're given a degree and we're asked to make the Taylor polynomial accurate to two decimal places. So the first thing there is to write out the Taylor polynomial, uh, cut, it, cut it off, sorry, write out the Taylor series, cut it off so that you get the Taylor polynomial. We notice that it's an alternating series, so we can use the alternating series error bound. The error bound says that the error is smaller than the, the first term that we cut off. So that here is x6 over 6 factorial, and we want that to be less than the allowable error, 0 0.01. We solve that out and we get a range of x, and so those are the values of x that we can plug in and get an estimate of cosine x accurate to two decimal places.